You know, we, we want to make this so simple because um, one thing I learned a few years ago, what I learned that has helped me to grow businesses is that uh, the world is already too complicated. The world as it is, is too complicated in itself. So if we can make something so simple <laughs> that it takes less than five minutes for someone to, to know what you want to say, to communicate to them, I think there is no business that we would not do. So long as you believe in your heart that you're doing the right thing. So uh, you, you will discover that even though we are going to be talking about the forex market, our approach is not going to be technical. We're not going to sound like the forex guys because people run away from you when, when you start talking about forex because it's too complicated, it's too risky. So nobody wants to be in a complex area. I want to ask a simple question. How many, how many people here have done some sort of trading, whether you, you've succeeded or you failed, but you, you believe you can place or you've placed a trade in the past for, for almost 70 almost 70 percent now i'm here to inform you that up until right now up until now i do not understand anything to do with trading i do not do any trading at all i don't have any understanding of trading <laughs> but i only understand business i understand uh risk reward and what is involved so yes. When, when, uh, when, when I have a conversation with any person, I understand one thing for sure, that business is about finding a need. Whether a company has a product or service, it's all about finding an, a, a need or a want. Yeah, but because of the fact that people don't want complications, when I'm presenting CFX to them, this is what I'm going to do. The first thing I do, I'll find out from them whether they understand something called leverage. I ask them that question. A lot of times people want to know what it is. And that's when I tell them that from my experience over the last few years, I have been a very good student of leverage. So the moment they give me whichever answer, whether they understand or not, I'll let them know that the most important thing that I like to, to talk about is something called time. And I ask them if they have some time. The answer is always yes, 100% of the time. Yes. So when they say they have time, I also ask them if they have some money, something called money. 100% of the time as well, they will say they have some money. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't ask them how much, whether it's... Okay. One, one dollar or whatever, but they say they have, they have a bit of money. So then I ask them why they're not in business. And I also let them know that from my experience, I always talk about my experience, that the other important factor in leverage that is missing to most people is always going to be a functional system. And I focus on this. I want to find out from them if they are using any system to make money. So most of the time, I can ascertain whether someone is best suited for CFX before I even present to them. So it saves me a lot of time. So when it comes to money, I ask them, can you afford $300? At that point, I haven't mentioned CFX. And when they ask me why um, they need $300, I let them know that the system enables any, the rich, the wealthy, and the powerful to leverage their time and money. At that point, I'm not talking about time a lot. I'm focusing on the money. And when they say, yes, I can afford $300, I'm not asking more than that. And I tell them there is a system that I'm going to introduce to them, which is called CFX. And I'm going to show them how to multiply because a leverage is really multiplication. Leverage means multiplication. And uh, it's important because a lot of people hear the word system, but it, sometimes they get mixed up. Um, uh, it's important to inform them that a system will always give you the same results over and over and over again. 
upon the application of the same concept of principle. So the next step from this, yeah. it, the person will want to know how you started with $300. And the good thing about me is I started with $300. So at that point, I can now show them what CFX is. Yeah? And, and once the person, if they are happy with this, I also want to ask them a question about time. I also want to know from them, once they are happy with this, I want to find out from them, is there any way you want to know how you can make the money by creating more time? But not everybody, I always let them know, not everyone can do this section. It's optional. And you know the option I'm talking about? This is the side where everybody here might fall underneath because this is the network side of things where you leverage time. But inform them this option is not mandatory, it's very optional. Does this make sense? Now, um, when you show them the dashboard, the first thing you should do is you have to do an income disclaimer. You let them know that any money, like any results you're going to show them is only based on probability. Because the results are going to be based on their ethics, their hard work, professionalism, and the rest. In other words, the results are not typical. If you can, if you can get professional as shared with results, whether it's, it's one US dollar or two dollars or ten dollars, 85% of your work is already done before you even start to, to go into the details of what the project is. Most of the people that I've spoken to have signed up the best example, Stefan, how long did it take for you to actually sign up? How, how, how long of a conversation did we have? Uh, one minute, for me one, it was one clear. One minute uh, conversation. So what I'm saying is not an assumption, it's, like, it's exactly what I practice. In other words, um, sharing an opportunity is totally different from training. Like Sometimes we get caught up giving people too much information and they right. say, let me go and think about it. The most common objective, before, before we show you the whole thing, the most common objective is always going to be, if someone says they're going to think about it or they're waiting till tomorrow, find out from them. If you lost, let them know that they should only put in an amount they're prepared to lose. Yeah. If, ask them a question, if they lost $300, would they have a sleepless night? Any person that have asked that question, if you lost $300, would you have a sleepless night? They've said, most often than not, they said, no, I can still sleep. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, because uh, you tell them that they should only put in an amount they're prepared to lose. Because the forex market, trading in a real forex market is highly risky. So they should only put in any amount they're prepared to lose. And in that case, you're referencing $300. The, the reason why I use this approach is because it takes away, the moment you mention the Forex market, people say, no, 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 I'm not going there. So, but <laughs> when I have a conversation with them about them having some money, if they think about the beginning of this year, how much money they've held that they don't have anymore, they think, yeah, I can get some money. If you ask them about time, that one, you, you'll come to it later. But when it comes to $300, it's the magic of this company. When it comes to $300, we believe that an average person can have $300. In the United Kingdom, even someone going for benefits at the job center in, in England or United Kingdom can afford $300. It's important to always mention that everything else is depending on how much sacrifice a human being is willing to put.